Hello everyone, uh, welcome back for another video. In this video, I'm going to uh, calculate with you the portfolio risk. So this video is divided into five parts. The first part has how to calculate covariance given correlation metrics. Second video will focus on the variance covariance metrics creation. Third video will calculate the portfolio variance through the covariance formula. The fourth video will focus on the portfolio variance through the correlation formula. And finally, in the last video, I will find the portfolio variance through matrix multiplication. So without much order, let's start with the first video of the day, which will focus on portfolio covariance. So the problem at hand is this. Mr. Kim wants to make a portfolio of three securities. The weights and the standard deviation of the securities are given, as well as the correlation metrics. So what we have is the securities, their weights, their standard deviations, and the correlation metrics. Since correlation metric is always symmetric, we only have the upper half of the correlation metrics. Correlation of A and B is 0.3. So correlation of A and B over here will also be 0.3. So correlation metric is symmetric and th thus we can have it in a triangular form. So to find the covariance of AB, first we will look at the formula. The formula has the covariance of X and Y is given as the product of the standard deviations of X and Y with the correlation of x and y. Now we can rewrite this formula for any two securities. So the covariance AB can be written as sigma with subscript AB and it is equal to the product of standard deviation of A with the standard deviation of B with the correlation of AB. Now having this formula at heart, we can simply find the covariance of AB is which is equal to the standard deviation of A multiplied by the standard deviation of B, which is 5%, uh, multiplied by the correlation of A and B, which is 0.3. So the answer we have is covariance of A and B is 0 0.00225. We don't know if the covariance is good or bad. How large or how small a covariance is, it's not easy to interpret. However, we can always interpret a relation between two securities through the correlation. And from the given correlation, we know it's moderately weak correlation of 0.3. Thus, this covariance show that this two series, A and B, does not move too much with each other. They are not very, very codependent on each other. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you have any questions, share in the comments.